Hey guys, this is Philip again. Today I'm going to show you how to set up MIGIC for a music notation software. In this tutorial I'm going to be using Sibelius, so let's get started. Alright, the first thing we need to do is to download two additional softwares. First, similar to when we worked in FL Studio with that tutorial, you need to install Loop MIDI. And this is the same reason as before, you need to have some way of getting the MIDI out from MIGIC into a virtual device and then from the virtual device back to the host or software that you want to use. In this case, it is Sibelius instead of FL Studio. Uh, we also need to install one more software actually, and that is the ASIO multi-client driver from Steinberg. And this we need in order to have uh, two applications using the same sound card simultaneously. That's why you need to install the ASIO multi-client. Right, so the first thing we need to do is to uh, start the loop media device. Now I can create a new port for you so you see what that looks like. We can call this MIGIC virtual so it will be clear. Then you press plus here in loop MIDI. So now we have created a virtual MIDI port card called MIGIC virtual. So far so good. Let's then continue by starting the ASIO server. So this one is sort of the interface towards the multi-client API. So here we need to set our default, the sound card that we want to use. In my case, it, it's the Focusrite USB audio sound card. Right, so now these two softwares are set up and they are the only prerequisites that we need in order to connect Magic to Sibelius. So now we go ahead and start Magic Evo. And now we head straight into the options and then we change our ASIO device to ASIO client and it has got the uh, correct settings here. I think it inherits that from the multi-server. So we're currently running 44.1 kHz with uh, 128 samples per buffer, which gives us a 2.9 millisecond latency. Okay, then we head over to MIDI, and now we, here we can change the, uh, where the MIDI goes. So we need to tell the MIDI from MIGIC to go to the MIGIC virtual port that we just created, that guy. Okay, and now that is done. We can leave the scenes as it is. Uh, now it's start. Uh, yeah, now it's time to start Sibelius. That we do now. Wait for it. Any day now. Okay, continue trial. Now play some beautiful music for me. So I'll start with something simple here, just this uh, trouble stuff. Now we can go to the preferences, to the note input section, no, the input device section here. And here you can see that uh, it, this software is now listening to the MIGIC virtual port, which is this port that we created uh, in loop MIDI, and which also is the port that MIGIC sends its MIDI to, so that seems very good. So we can actually test it here, so I will pick up my guitar, and then I will uh, just open MIGIC for reference. So if I play a note now, you can see that uh, Sibelius reacts to the MIDI input. Okay, now I'm a beginner of this tool, so I don't know very much, but uh, I will select the bar, then I go to play, and I'll press record, and I'll try to record a few notes. find this information helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to give me an email. I have my address here in the description below. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more media related news. See you next time!